I'm Ryan O'Dowd, and you're listening to Ryan's Audiobooks on the Issues Magazine YouTube channel. Today we continue with Section 10.2 of Adam from the Son of Knowledge by Lex Hickson Nur al-Jarahi. Part 1. Traditional Islamic Resources Affirmation of Unity This metaphysical poem was composed in 1981 during the long flight from New York to Istanbul. It was a spontaneous offering to my sheikh, Muzaffar Ashki, and my peer, Nuruddin Jarahi. I can see this document now as confirming the completion of my apprenticeship. It focuses on the highest teachings of Islam concerning the pre-eternal Muhammad of Light, teachings comparable in tone to the Christian mystical doctrine of Logos. This poem is not based on personal reading or speculation, but on oral transmissions and heart transmissions I received from my sheikh during three years of discipleship and friendship, beginning in 1978, which included our pilgrimage together to Mecca and Medina in 1980. This poem r presents rich instruction in the basic contemplative exercise of the dervishes, the affirmation of unity, la alaha illallah, and the affirmation of humanity, Muhammad Rasulallah. Rasulallah is used instead of the more accurate English transliteration Rasulallah -ah in order to preserve the name Allah for the understanding of persons not familiar with Arabic. Similar decisions on the English transliteration of Arabic phrases have been made throughout this book. The Affirmation of Unity La Allaha Illa Muhammad Rasulah Allah With each breath may we take refuge in living truth alone, released from coarse arrogance and subtle pride. May every thought and action be intended in the supremely holy name of Allah as the direct expression of boundless compassion and most tender love. May the exaltation of endless praise, arising spontaneously as the life of countless beings, flow consciously toward the single source of being, source of the intricate evolution of countless worlds. May we be guided through every experience along the direct path of love that leads from the human heart into the divine heart, the ever-present source of love. With beautiful names of the All-Merciful One, Holy Quran reveals the secret of infinite mercy. Allah is the perfect oneness and utter completeness that embraces every world and every being. The supreme source that calls itself Allah and by countless other beautiful names. Has not come into being from anywhere, nor can any being come into being separate from the source of being. There is only one reality. Planetary and heavenly realms and the countless beings they contain are simply the attributes of Allah praising the essence of Allah. This is the truth revealed by Allah within the heart of humanity. La laha il Allah. There is no reality apart from ultimate reality. Allah alone is worthy of worship, for Allah alone is. La laha il Allah. As Allah most resplendent reveals to the beloved Moses, I alone am. There is absolutely nothing apart from the boundless I am that I am. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasu Allah. Divine unity alone exists, and humanity is its principle of self-revelation. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasu Allah. The mercy of Allah to the universe, the beloved Muhammad. May divine peace embrace him always discloses to his spiritual companions throughout time, Allah is, Allah is the hidden treasure who longs to be known by the intimate knowing that is love. The longing to be revealed arises spontaneously within the mysterious hiddenness of sheer transcendence, without disturbing its perfect unity. This divine longing is the first light to emerge from a source of light, Nira Muhammad, the exalted Muhammad of light, principle of divine manifestation, light of guidance and light of prophethood. This primordial light from light shone prior to time and prior to eternity, prior to the existence of any realm. The Nur Muhammad gazes everywhere, perceives only divine unity illuminated by its own light, and calls out, La ilaha illallah. There is nothing other than Allah. 
Allah most resplendent and sublime, whose mystic hiddenness now stands revealed, responds with divine delight, Muhammad Rasulullah Allah. O Muhammad of light, you are my principle of revelation. The boundless universe of souls and the 18,000 dimensions where souls manifest, Allah creates only through and for his beloved Muhammad alight. La ilaha illallah. Turning away from the heart, the dervish chants la ilaha. There is nothing apart. No limited world, no limited self. No limited principles, no limited powers. La ilaha empties the universe. So manifest being becomes translucent. Then the dervish turns toward the physical heart, which orients the inward gaze toward the spiritual heart, and experiences the spontaneous affirmation, Illallah, there is only Allah. Illallah fills the perfectly empty vessel with the radiance of supreme reality. Wherever we look, truth alone is shining. Within the profound resonance of Illallah, the dervish hears the divine response emerging from the inmost heart, Muhammad, Rasul, Allah. For springing forth eternally within divine unity is a sacred exaltation of humanity and as a complete expression of divine love. The chanting of La Allah, Il Allah, Muhammad, Rasul Allah is none other than the primordial hiddenness of Allah revealing itself to its own one beloved light. Through the sanctified voice of the dervish, the Muhammad of light affirms La ilah Il Allah through the secret heart of the dervish, Allah Most High responds, Muhammad, Rasul, Allah. There is nothing else in no one else. La ilaha ilaha is sharp and clear as a diamond. Muhammad Rasul Allah. Delicate and fragrant as a rose, both revealing only one reality. La ilaha illallah is Mecca, son of divine power. Muhammad Rasul Allah is Medina, moon of tender love. Mecca strips the heart naked before truth. Medina clothes it in silken robes of ecstasy both revealing only one reality. La ilaha illa is the resplendent unity beyond imagining for whom even the, with the sublimity of paradise is a dream. Muhammad Rasulullah is the universal light of guidance, streaming through 124,000 beloved prophets of Allah that illuminates the mystic path of love along which souls of love return to disappear into the source of love. The radiant drama of love, Muhammad Rasulullah, unfolds entirely within divine unity. La ilaha illallah. For nothing exists outside this perfect unity, and nothing can disturb unity from within. La ilaha illallah is the constant dissolution of limited worlds and limited selves into the radiance of limitless truth. Muhammad Rasulullah is the exaltation of the soul whose essence is truth. For Allah Most High decrees that every being on the higher planes of being, prostrate before the transcendental Adam, archetype of the precious human soul, and none can bow except before truth. All existence loses itself and disappears into Allah, except the unique diamond of the soul that remains with Allah in eternal companionship as the mystery of Nurun Allah Nur, the light of Allah within the light of Allah. Manifest to the companions of love who gather every Friday in the realm of paradise for the dervish celebration of divine love. The exalted Muhammad of light takes the position of Sheikh. 124,000 radiant prophets of Allah form the inner circle. Intimate friends and slaves of Allah, the second circle. Humble servants of those slaves of love, the third circle. Souls loyally devoted to the holy way of life revealed through the messengers sent to every nation compose the vast outer circle of chanting dervishes. And those who love any of these... Beloved ones are gathered mercifully by the All-Merciful One to experience the sweetness of divine remembrance. These luminous souls are singing in perfect unison, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulallah, lost in the mystic moment beyond time and eternity, when the hidden treasure stands revealed by its own first light as the incomparable treasure of love. La ilaha illallah is the brilliant blue sky of truth, Muhammad Rasulallah, the graceful dark rain clouds, the 18,000 dimensions of divine love's drama. How can the radiant storm of love gather in the boundless sky of clarity? Why does Allah Most High exclaim, Be, so that countless forms of consciousness come to being on every plane of being? Why does infinite mercy guide some along the direct path of return to the source and others along paths that wander among shadows, turning away from the source of light? What is the meaning of Allah's revelation in the Holy Quran? that by each thought in action 
Without exception, every living being remembers the source of being. La ilaha illallah is the clear gem with infinite facets, goal of every profound quest, response of truth to every ultimate question, principle of utmost clarity that leads beyond every concept and description, healing of every doubt with the sweet balm of surrender, total illumination of mind and heart that dissolves every cell in the body and every atom of the universe into light. Muhammad Rasul Allah is the divine drama, the vast circle of revelation that begins with the exalted Muhammad of light and reaches completion through the beloved Muhammad of Arabia. May the sublime peace of Allah embrace him. The culmination of prophethood through whom the light of guidance now streams into every human heart as the fullness of Allah's mercy. Promised through Jesus as the comforter and friend of all souls, the beloved one of Allah served as diamond vessel for an Arabic Quran that would crush vast mountains with its weight and power, emanating from the transcendent Quran, where every personal and cosmic event is written. By this radiant and living book of reality, the profound meaning of all events will be perfectly illuminated on the day of truth when the time ends. The entire drama of revelation from Muhammad the Principal to Muhammad the Beloved emerges spontaneously from La Ilaha Illallah. The divine drama, Muhammad Rasul Allah, is simply La Ilaha Illallah unveiled as the treasure of love. There is only La Ilaha Illallah. La Ilaha Illallah, to be is to praise Allah. The inner function of manifest being, including planetary and heavenly realms, is simply to praise the source of being and to be lost in exaltation. To be is to be returning constantly to Allah. To be is to disappear into Allah. Muhammad Rasul Allah. To be human is to lose the limited self in love, to live only for love, to engage continuously in acts of profound compassion and common kindness towards all beings as one family of consciousness, dedicating each action to the principles of justice and reverence for life revealed by Allah, feeding the hungry on every level of hunger, caring intensely for all creations of Allah, through whom one divine life is pouring. La ilaha illallah. The radiant kingdom of the infinitely merciful and responsive king, always present to every subject from within, is the intricate and harmonious display of eight planes of being, where no soul is wrong by even so much as the point of a date stone, perfect training ground for the human heart. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasul Allah. Expressed by formless splendor and by the beauty of form, there could only be one conceivable reality. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasul Allah. While chanting in the powerful affirmation Allah, the dervish gazes inwardly toward the true Kaaba, the precious human heart, whose secret is Muhammad Rasul Allah. The marvelous organic heart that ceaselessly remembers Allah with its pulse of life forms the outer gateway. The heart of tender emotion contains the royal garden, tracing the essence of awareness there among flowers of radiance and flowers of resonance. The dervish comes upon the sublime spiritual heart, the translucent emerald palace of the king. Overwhelmed and drawn further by the sweet rose fragrance, Muhammad Rasul Allah, the dervish opens mystical doors with the master key of Ilallah and passes through eleven concentric courts, each one more radiant with divine beauty. They contain 18,000 universes, seven progressively more subtle heavenly realms, and 99 levels of paradise. The dervish now discovers that whatever appears to exist outside the heart is a mere reflection. At last, the inmost door of the secret heart, touched by the powerful key of Allah, swings open to reveal the throne of light, surrounded by royal ministers of divine love, moving in wise attendance and graceful praise. One final threshold beckons the luminous open portal to the private chamber of the Sultan. Entering there, the dervish disappears. Only the Muhammad of Light remains, forever in communion with the Sovereign, revealing the Sovereign, knowing the Sovereign, eternally lost and divinely found in divine love. Here is the essence of love, transmitted from the Supreme Lover through the lineage of mystic guides to Sultan Muhammad Nur ad-Din Jirahi, beloved of the Beloved One of Allah, whose love streams into the world through the entire being of those who are always deeply in love and who belong only to love. La ilaha illallah. Chanting dervishes are the me melodious thunder of Allah, waves of love in the stormy ocean of love, breaking in ecstasy amongst the throne of Allah. The heart of the dervish is a tiny golden ball cast high into the boundless sky of truth by immense waves of divine resonance. Who exists other than Allah to affirm that Allah alone exists? 
La ilaha illallah is Allah's own remembrance. From the power of this living word, the waves of worlds and beings are constantly flowing and evolving. And into the formless source of sound, they race into lights to disappear again. La ilaha illallah. Deep within the thundering word, the dervish encounters the essential silence, where the drama of time and eternity ends, the day of truth toward which creation is rushing, which shines already as the secret of secrets, as brilliant silence hidden within the resonance of Allah. From this essential silence, the 18,000 universes have never gone forth from this eternal essence. The most precious secret soul has ever been se- never been separated. Hoo, 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 o oh, hidden treasure. Eternally revealing, yet hidden still. Muhammad Rasul Allah, O first light, beloved one of Allah, perfect soul, Nur Muhammad, moon of tenderness, forever full, sun of knowledge that never rises or sets, consummate spiritual guide, sheikh of sheikhs, may the sublime of peace of Allah, the exaltation of paradise, and the disappearance into divine love belong to you always, to those who love you, to those who transmit your guidance, and to those who love them, O most beloved Muhammad of light. Muhammad Rasul Allah, O diamond essence of the soul, may your sword of light, the principle ah, ilaha, ilaha, reveal universal Islam as the sublime peace of unity, hidden in the heart of all sacred traditions, dawning in the heart of every human being, shining in the heart of manifest being that constantly praises the source of being. Muhammad Rasul Allah, O trustworthy guide and friend of souls, the precious light of guidance streams through you as 124,000 messengers of truth. O Muhammad of light, standing eternally on the mountain of light above the city of light, dissolving the universe entirely into light with your merciful sword of light held high in the stillness of truth. Most profound salutations of the heart to beloved Abraham, to beloved Moses, to beloved Jesus, and to the beloved Muhammad of Arabia. May supernal peace embrace them all. Most tender greetings of the heart to the beloved Virgin Mary, Mother of Jesus, pure channel of divine love for all humanity. Greetings to the noble mother Qadiha, first follower of the Prophet and protector of Islam, to precious Aisha, most intimate wife of the Prophet, in perfection of womanhood, to cherished Fatima, radiant daughter of the Prophet, and exalted mother of the faithful, to magnificent Ali, golden lion of Allah, instrument chosen by the Prophet to establish his mystic path, the way of union with truth, to most revered Hassan and Hussein, grandchildren of the Prophet, bearers of the light of Islam. Most profound salams to the Prophet sent by Allah, all merciful to every nation, kisses of loving respect to the hands and feet of the holy shaykhs, Sheikhs who inherit the spiritual wealth of the prophets, most loving friendship of the heart to all lovers of truth, known to the world or hidden from the world, may we be accepted into the radiant circle of eternal divine remembrance formed by the highest companions of love. O Allah Most High, cherisher and sustainer of all worlds and beings, please accept every breath as prayer, as the constant offering and surrender of our individual lives to the source of life. Yahe, thou all life. Ya Nur, Thou all light, Ya Aziz, thou all powerful love, Ya Salam, thou all peace. May we consciously abide in the universal Islam of your peace. Amin. Salat. This essay may be unique in modern Islamic literature. The five times daily prayer or salat is often presented in a mechanical, technical fashion, emphasizing the sense of strict obligation. The present composition does not pretend to be a manual for the practice of Islamic prayer, which is an important literary genre, but aspires instead by drawing upon the most profound and beautiful oral traditions of the Prophet to introduce the sublimity of this practice this complete way of life, which sanctifies temporality. Like the poem preceding it, this essay is not the fruit of reading or speculation, but reflects verbal and nonverbal transmission from my sheikh and his prayerful community of dervishes. Muslims representing every education and cultural background will attest to the authenticity of this presentation. 
which is not exhaustive, but which is infused by the incomparable rose fragrance of Salat. Two, Salat, Daily Prayers of Islam. In the name of Allah, the merciful, the compassionate, the sublime oral tradition, or hadith, reports that Prophet Muhammad, upon him be peace, received Salat, the five times daily prayer of Islam, during his mystical ascension through the heavens and beyond paradise into the glorious garden of essence. During this journey, the Messenger of Allah was able to contemplate angels performing each of the various movements of Salat. Some stood in rapture before the Divine Majesty. Others bowed continuously in astonishment and awe. Still others remained lost in full prostration. All of them merged consciously in divine unity. Therefore, Salat is a gift from Allah, displayed first through the angelic beings, rather than a ceremonial form springing from human intellect, will, or initiative. The Prophet of Islam proclaimed, Salat is the ascension of the faithful, thereby indicating that his own mystical experience of ascending through the heavens to the divine throne and beyond can be replicated in the life of the humble practitioner of daily prayer. Ascension culminates in mystic union. Salat is more a way of union with God than an offering to God. The divine completeness does not ask you or need for anything. Since Allah is the sole source of action in the universe, the divine power is performing prayers as well as receiving prayers. This is why the intimate lovers of Allah, while engaging in the traditional movements of Salat, experience the energy to bow, prostrate, and stand again as coming directly from the source of the universe. Salat exists beyond the kingdom of personal will. It is the key to the kingdom of divine will. Muhammad, the beloved one of Allah, could have brought back from his ascension any gift from the infinite divine treasury. Since he returned with Salat, we can infer that it is most precious. As the noble prophet upon him be peace explained in his concise manner, Salat is the best dik rula, referring to dikr, the practice of constant inward remembrance of Allah. Therefore, the Sufis or mystics of Alam prepare themselves carefully through the profound spiritual exercises, or dikr, in order to experience Salat truly. The daily prayers of Islam are not just for beginners along the holy way, but also constitute the experience of culmination for those most advanced in the path. Our Grand Sheikh Musa Ashki al-Jarahi, may Allah sanctify his spirit, breathed his last breath in prostration, a forehead resting upon his prayer carpet, while performing the supplementary prayers of midnight. A master of essence thus merges with divine essence during Salat. An oral tradition is the, of the Prophet confirms that to pray five times every day is equal in spiritual intensity to praying fifty times a day. In other words, Salat leads to continuous prayer. Its goal is the perpetual inward recollection of supreme reality. The Beloved One of Allah explained to his blessed companions, Each step you take while approaching the mosque to pray is counted by Allah as pure prayer. He also indicated that the time during which one remains awake, waiting for night prayer, is also counted by Allah Most High as prayer. In countless ways, the peaceful atmosphere and transforming power of Salat overflow the five formal periods of prayer, permeating every moment of awareness and holy expectation. Allah reveals to his beloved prophet in the glorious Quran that his principal task as a human being is prayer. That is why Salat was so deeply cherished by the noble Muhammad, upon him be peace. He proclaimed, Allah Most High has caused me to love the abo three above all, woman, perfume, and prayer, indicating that to his refined spiritual sensibility, prayer is continuous with the delight and fragrance of light and beauty. This transcendent pleasure, this spiritual delight that is also sensual, is felt at least during certain occasions of prayer by every faithful person who practices Salat. The central longing of every Muslim man and woman is to live in exactly the same spirit as which the noble prophet lived. That is to follow his sunnah, his most beautiful model, both in attitudes and actions. Delight in prayer is the most important sunnah, which is linked with the other principal prophetic characteristic, ceaseless expression of kindness, affection, and justice towards all beings. Without immersion in prayer, universal compassion is not possible. For Muslims, Salat is ordained by Allah as the most effective way to unfold the fullness of our humanity. Allah does not request or need our prayers, but offers Salat to us as his supreme gift. The Muslim prays not from a sense of obligation, but as an act of tender responsiveness, as a lover desires to fulfill every wish of the beloved. It is not to the Prophet or for the Prophet that we pray. 
Yet the fact remains that his prayer has become our prayer. We are not praying to please him. We are praying with him and as him. The beautiful form and precise timing of Salat are the way the noble Muhammad prayed. Yet his life was so filled with praying that both the basic Salat and the supplementary Salat, which constitute 40 cycles of prostration each day, represent only a drop from the ocean of his prayer. The beloved Aisha, may her soul be ennobled, the youngest wife of the Holy Prophet and a woman who achieved the exalted rank of Mother of the Faithful, related that frequently during the deep night her noble husband stood for prayer right on their bed, which was composed of a thin leather mattress. When Aisha was resting between him and the sacred city of Mecca, she would withdraw her legs as he bowed, giving him enough space to place his luminous forehead in prostration. She would extend her legs again when the Prophet stood up to chant long passages from the Holy Quran. By contrast, whether the beloved Prophet directed Salat in congregation, he would seldom chant very extensive Quranic passages because, as he remarked on one occasion, I can hear the crying of small children and I do not want to cause more difficulty for their mothers. In certain instances, when leading the communal prayer, the Prophet of Islam would lose himself in ecstasy and pray many more cycles or rakats than usual. Afterward, his loyal companions would inquire, O Messenger of Allah, has a new form of Salat been revealed? So open were these companions to the ever-unfolding will of Allah for their community and its leader. The Prophet would respond, No, I simply became lost in the delight of prayer. Recorded by oral tradition, the Beloved One of Allah proclaimed, revealing secret teaching from the Most High, that slot performed in congregation is 27 times more powerful than the very same prayer completed in solitude. This is the source of the longing to pray in congregation that every Muslim man and woman feels, although solitary salat is spiritually valid and sufficient. The unified lines of prayer, shoulders and feet touching, with the intention of the hearts in perfect alignment as well, produce such an experience of spiritual power and ecstatic communion, it is as though all humanity were standing together in salat. The lines are carefully kept straight to create human unity, which then becomes a vessel for the consciousness of divine unity. Often the Prophet of Allah would be seen walking among the lines of the faithful, meticulously straightening them before beginning the process of Salat, during which individual differences melt away and humanity prays as a single body, a single consciousness. Salat is the blissful merging of our small personal will with the encompassing divine will. Were these straight lines of prayer to be extended for thousands of miles, they would begin to curve and eventually form planetary circles around the earthly axis of prayer, the Holy Kaaba and the ennobled city of Mecca. Thus the lot at the Grand Mosque in the desert of Arabia is visibly performed in concentric circles around the sacred cubic structure, originally built there by the Prophet Abraham, spiritual father of Jews, Christians, and Muslims. The very nature of the human soul is prayer. Even if we remain largely unconscious of this fundamental level of our being. The Holy Quran reveals that when birds open their wings for flight, this movement is a form of prayer. Allah is continuously aware of the distinctive forms of prayer flowing naturally from the awareness of all creatures. Even stars and atoms whirl in universal praise. When standing for Salat, one directly and tangibly faces the oceanic radiance called Allah. Noble Ali, leader of the mystics of Islam, used to proclaim that he would not pray to any divinity he could not experience directly. To prostrate during Salat is to plunge directly into the ocean of Allah. The glorious Quran reveals that all souls were created in the pre-eternal universe of souls, before planetary or even heavenly realms existed. The human soul is therefore more ancient and more sublime than the angels, more original even than the divine throne, which the angels circle in ecstatic praise. Allah Most High asked all the timeless human souls who were to manifest in time whether they wished to return consciously into their original source. All souls without exception, including our own, responded in perfect unison, Yes, you alone are our precious Lord. Salat is a clear manifestation of that original yes, more original than what Christianity terms original sin in Islam describes as the descent of the prophetic souls, Adam and Eve into the veils of space and time to experience mystic longing for reunion with their Lord. Allah Most High reveals by, in his glorious Quran that being is created to function solely by praising the source of being. To be, therefore, is to pray or praise. The gift of Salat is to experience this astonishing fact continuously, moment by moment. 
The Quran repeatedly reveals that Allah does not need, demand, or compel the prayers of any conscious being, for Allah is perfect completeness. The mystical commentators explain that Allah does not need the, any prayers of any being because apart from Allah, no being exists. The entire creation is simply the attributes of Allah praising the essence of Allah. The graceful movements of Salat, the careful reckoning of the exact times for Salat, the profound Quranic leanings and melodious Quranic chanting useful for the performance of Salat, the powerful spiritual affirmations that punctuate Salat, all these are the golden setting of the ring. The priceless diamond in the setting, the very essence of Salat, is the revelatory Arabic of the Quran, divine word, divine resonance, divine radiance. These Quranic verses are definitely not human words, although some of their infinite meanings are comprehensible to the human mind by the permission of Allah. During the external or internal Quranic chantings of Salat, it becomes existentially clear that Allah alone exists, both praying and receiving the prayers. Since the Prophet Muhammad, upon him be peace, was the human vessel for the Arabic Quran, and is even referred to in Islamic tradition as the Quran in human form, we can conclude that the noble Prophet is Salat. We are praying as him as well as praying within his prophetic heart. During his last day on earth, the messenger of Allah, physically weak, came forth into his simple desert abode to gaze upon his community as they performed the congregational prayer. Abu Bakr, may his soul be ennobled, first successor of the Prophet, was leading Salat but moved to one side when he noticed the noble Muhammad standing in his doorway. Abu Bakr humbly invited the messenger to take his proper station as imam, or leader of the prayer. The beloved one of Allah responded with a silent gesture, indicating that his clear companion should continue to lead Salat. An eyewitness reporting that while the Prophet stood in the doorway of his humble house, enjoying the beautiful sight of the congregational prayer, his countenance shone like a golden Koran, like a rising sun on the horizon of planetary spirituality. That very afternoon he passed away from the visible world into divine beauty, knowing that Salat has been truly established upon the earth and within the human heart, knowing that his task had been completed. The Prophet could never have died before attaining certainty that his sole function, continuous prayer, had been successfully transmitted to his community and to planetary history. Just as the golden sun continues to rise above the horizon, the early morning call to prayer flows in never-ceasing waves around the globe, followed by four other waves of Salat within the time of a single earthly revolution about the solar axis. The noble Imam... Of all Muslims, the leader of Salat for the entire world stands outside time in his transcendental aspect the, as the light of guidance. He faces the prayer niche or mira in the Grand Mosque of Medina, which now surrounds the holy tomb, the fragrant resting place of his external form, and the exact location where the Prophet watched Salat for the last time with physical eyes. It is behind this Muhammad of light, and behind no other, that Muslims of 14 centuries have faithfully continued to form the lines of Salat. The Grand Ma Mosque at Medina is the human heart. Thus concludes section 10.2 of Adam from the Son of Knowledge by Lexix and Nur al-Jarahi. Tomorrow, or rather, next time, we will continue section 10.3, picking up in part 2, Salat, in the call to prayer. I will see you then. Olam.